Well, we have about seven minutes left. Robert, um, tell us just a little bit, you know, for our audience, if they wanted to reach out and to know you, uh, to, to reach out to you and, and know a little bit more about your services, how would they do that? Aren't you so kind? Oh, what a lovely, <laughs> what a lovely question that is. Um, you can get a hold of me um, at our little hovel on the web, which is uh, contentadvisory.net. Um, I chose the .net because it is literally the dad genes of domains, um, <laughs> and um, it's it's where we have all of our services and uh, and 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 most of our thinking as well. And of course, then on LinkedIn, I'm I'm a big user of LinkedIn as well. That's great. That's great. All right, Andy. Any more? Any other comments before we close? Uh, well, uh, if there's a theme that tied through here, it's uh, authenticity and differentiation uh, and trust yeah. that come from uh, you know being a real marketer. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't also use tools to become far more productive. Just set a goal of twenty percent or thirty percent more productivity or efficiency gains from tools like these. Uh, and ideally, all this stuff just frees you up to, to do the, the fun, truly differentiated things, the strong point of view, you know, the finding real differences in the business, uh, exactly. you know, to, to, to be a better marketer uh, by using tools. We've said this uh, a few times. If, this, if these modern technologies scare you, you're the one. <laughs> if they scare you, they're for you. <laughs> you're the one who should be playing with them to get value from them. Um, there is simply no way to uh, avoid this era. It's here. Yeah. yeah. I also, you know, some of the things I really liked about what you said, um, Robert, were one of the questions you asked wasn't like, hey, how do we get more sales and more opportunities and more leads? The question you asked was, hey, in an age of distrust, how do you get people mm -hmm. to trust? You? And what I liked about that is, is that if you tell great stories, if you do great marketing, and people trust you, buying is the ultimate conclusion of once you knock down that trust barrier, that's the ultimate conclusion. And so that's why I love having great guests on here because you're already talking about, at least in my opinion, the ingredients of what makes marketing great. And so it was, I don't even think, I don't know that you thought it through with the question, but that's what I heard. I heard, I was like, wow, you know what? That's a guy who knows his craft. So thank you so it's much a, for joining us. 100%, 100%. Yeah, I mean, uh, just very quickly, I'll say we saw it this week. Right? How do you how do you get a hundred million users to your platform in less than a week? You start with two point three billion the week before. So. <laughs> if it, uh, hot take: You're a strategist at Facebook. You launched Threads. Are you happy with that adoption rate, or is do, do, you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Create a two hundred. Basically, create a two billion business uh, overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty happy. That's uh, stay tuned to that channel as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, to our reader, to make sure that this comes out in a timely fashion. We're talking about uh, threads. Yep. Um, uh, Robert, I, I, I were literally about to do the close, but just give me just give us a real quick update on your take on on threads, where it's at, where it's going, and then we'll close. Yeah, I'd love that, too. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm bullish on it now. I mean, I think it's way too early to, you know, it's, this is, you know, the, the, it's also, by the way, the, the time I'm a huge football fan. And so this is the time mm -hmm. when the blog posts come out, you know, the way too early predictions about playoffs and the way too early predictions about 53 man rosters and all of that. And it's the way too early prediction about threads because it literally has been out for two weeks as we, as we, as we uh, record this. And the idea is, Yes, the uptake and the adoption rate has been phenomenal. It's been remarkable. Um, we'll see if they can keep the engagement. And I think when we look at you know the fact that they've promised that they're not going to introduce monetization until early next year, you can see that that's the mm -hmm. the plan. See if you know see if it see if it sticks. Yeah. Um, I think it will. I think it. I think it will ultimately uh, stick, and it will be a viable platform. Will it be a Twitter killer? I'm not sure. I think Twitter might pivot um, slightly and and survive. Um, yeah. There's a cockroach joke in there somewhere, but um, in, in any event, um, I'm I'm bullish on the platform, and I think I think they've done a, a remarkable job. That's so cool. That's so cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, to our listeners, please do the standard stuff: like, subscribe, uh, click on the notification bell. Uh, it is our mission with Digital Marketing Masterclass to have the smartest minds in digital marketing join us uh, probably about once a month. We don't have a, 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 
a regular schedule, but we try to pump this out as, 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 as much as we can. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you uh, took a nugget from this, and we will see you next time. Thank you, Robert. See you soon. Absolutely.